All right, FAQ number 90. The question comes up, should a young woman work or stay at home till she is married? Okay, and, you know, it's specifically for young Christian women, but really this is any young woman. Okay, now you need to get saved if you're not saved, but this would apply to any young woman. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14, and we'll read to verse 15 because it's important. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, for some are already turned aside after Satan. Okay, now the philosophy that people have nowadays is they say, well, young women should work outside of the home so that they can get money for marriage later on. You know, and, and that way when you get married you'll have plenty of money and everything else. Of course it almost never works that way because the young woman to get to the job she has to have a car and she gets a junky car that her parents give her or whatever else and or they can't afford a car or she has to buy one for however much money and the thing breaks down so she wants a better car and then there's the peer pressure thing and then you got to have a cell phone because your car broke down so you have a cell phone and you or have or else your job and, also requires you to have a cell phone because yeah. they have to keep in touch with you for your safety sure and you know and then you got to have clothing because you know you're working i mean why not spend a little money so what you end up having is you end up having a young woman that learns not to be a keeper at home but rather to be uh covetous really and again uh we have a perfect example here what was it 12 years essentially roughly from the time she got out of high school till the time that she married me till the time she got saved and then married me and that time was spent with well, it was spent at first after I got saved, you know, I was constantly brainwashed into into this motto of you have to get a job. Mm -hmm. You need to get your own apartment. Get a job. You can't stay here forever. Yeah. You know, and that caused me to not have the, the time or opportunity to even study the Bible after the Lord saved me. But so, what I'm saying is what I'm saying, though, is after high school, you were pushed into college and and, and uh, careerism, both civilian, and you know it was the constant over overshadow of my father's uh, American CIA war in the seventies, otherwise known as as Vietnam, as a crypto officer. Um, you know, the Navy veteran of the family. You know, and my uncles were both <coughs> Army, so that was uh -huh. looming over my head, and it was this constant, you know, drive of, how's your job going? You know. How's, you know, keep in touch with us, you know, right. all and this so, kind of stuff. And so you went through how many universities? At least six in a 10-year yep. period because and, I tried to find the perfect one. Right. And how many branches of the military? Two. Yeah. In including Army. Including going overseas to the battlefield in Iraq. So uh, she has the experience, I think, that she can advise young Christian women not as this is the way it should be done and this works really well but actually i did it the wrong way for 12 years you know and years, yeah. and it was it's a mistake to go out and do those things and you know again she was forced into it and things and i know that there are some young christian uh, girls that are watching in your in your teens and your parents are probably trying to push you towards the university scam uh trying to push you towards careerism and whatever else uh just fight that thing okay what should you do well the Bible says there, marry. Now, what skills should you learn for when you're married? To be a keeper at home, like the Bible says. You say, well, how's that, you know, this is demeaning or whatever. Oh, it's not demeaning. It's not demeaning at all. Okay, guiding the house. Look at this, what it says here. Marry, bear children, guide the house. Guiding the house is a great responsibility. And you say, well, I need to have a career so we can make more money so we can have a better house. I'm going to tell you another way that you can uh, make good money by saving money you know how you save money by being a good keeper at home cooking your meals instead of having to go out to eat because your job is stressing you out um, saying hey honey we'll have one vehicle I don't have to have my own vehicle to go off to work and you go off to your job no I'm a keeper at home as a you know as a woman and you only have one vehicle so that cuts down on a huge expense of another vehicle. It cuts down on another insurance, on gas, on all the maintenance and things for the other vehicle, insurance and all that other stuff. Don't need that. What else can you do? Learning how to, to 
you know, take care of things around the house to make things for yourself and make things for your family. And when you start to bear children, you know, those children, as they get older, they can help you with those responsibilities around the house. And you're training them. You're training the young man to, to do work around the house and things like that. And, and the husband can take care of that too and help teach the children. The, the young daughters can be taught themselves to be keepers at home someday. I mean, it's just a no-brainer, as they say. And I know there are young, there are women out there that have been forced into careerism and things much the same way my wife was. And, you know, you look back at your life and you say, boy, I, I sure wish I would know how to this and this and that, but I just, I was never given that opportunity. But if you're a young teenager, you know, and, it, you know, if you've been through that situation, I'm not coming down on you. I'm not cutting on you. I'm just saying there are rough situations. You get forced into it. Okay. Just make the best of your life as, as you can. Okay, if you've been through careerism in your past and things and you realize there's problems there, there's issues there, and you're married to a good Christian man or whatever, be the keeper at home now that you're supposed to be. All right. But if you're a young teenager and you have not gone through the university scam, and by the way, the university thing is a scam. I mean, we could we could talk about that. That's a whole other subject for a whole other video. But I mean, universities are a scam. They're going broke and they're trying to teach you how to make money. It's kind of funny. All but, at the same time telling you, if you get this great bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. it'll increase your earning power. And then you can get a great paying job and retire with a great paycheck and a great salary and great pensions and great benefits. And you'll live a happy, great life in a car in every in every lane and a white uh, picketed fence in the whole nine yards. Yeah. And we ended up, you know, when we first got married, we still had some of her university debt to pay off, you know. I mean, and and praise the Lord, we were able to pay it off. I mean, there are people that it takes them, they never pay it off. I mean, you go to medical school especially, I mean, you're going to be, you're, com you're coming out of there with a mortgage-sized uh, university debt, $100,000 plus dollar debt. And that thing, as the interest accrues and everything else, you're going to be paying interest and nothing on principal, and it's going to be a bad situation. So university is not an option, okay? If you're a young Christian woman, don't even think about it. And a lot of these Bible college things too, you know, like go off for a Bible course and whatever. You don't need that, okay? There's so much preaching online now and so much, so many resources, so many books that you can read. I mean, you can study so many things online, all right? And, and, and stuff that you'll never learn in a Bible college someplace, okay? That's a scam as well. Don't even mess with Bible colleges. The point is, if you're a young Christian woman, Learn how to do things that will benefit you and save you money someday as a married Christian wife. All right, that's going to be a great thing. I mean, think of think of a, a young Christian man, and he's going out there, and here's this young Christian girl, and she's got, you know, all kinds of debts because of covetousness and having a little job and stuff like this, and she went off to university and she's got this other huge debt, or a young Christian woman that can cook and clean and sew and do do all these skills and she's just so talented because she spent her teenage years learning talents. Um, you know, you're going to be a lot farther ahead in this, in the game, so to speak. I hate to use the term game, but you're going to be a lot better off. All right. So uh, should a young woman work or stay at home until she is married? Uh, stay at home. And, you know, if you... Study the Bible daily. Yeah. So when your family says, honor thy father and thy mother, that thou mayest live long upon the earth that the Lord thy God giveth thee, because I had that put on me even after I was saved, and I said, God's word tells me not to work outside the home. They said, well, it doesn't matter what version you use. They all say the same thing, you yep. know, and the infamous, honor thy father and thy mother. Yep. And so, you know, you might have a bad situation like this. And it was ironic because, you know, I'll say this in closing, but... My wife just stuck to her stuck to her beliefs and she just prayed fervently. And I mean it was just like she showed up in my life just like boom out of the blue and next thing you know we're talking and everything else and I'm like wow, you know I didn't think a woman like this existed. <laughs> and uh you know and next thing you know we're getting married. So it was I mean our entire time of of writing and getting to know each other was what like October and we were married in May of the next year. So, you know, and I mean, it's, it can happen that quick. So don't get discouraged if you're a young Christian woman and you're in your late teens and your parents are like, we want you to get a job and blah, blah, blah. Just, just 
stay by your beliefs and really, really pray hard for, that God will bring you a, a godly young man into your life. And uh, the Lord won't let you down. Amen.